I'm going out solo this morning. I was in here a couple days ago, didn't see anything while I was in the tree. But then I got down, I got to scouting around, and I found some big rubs on this ridge back here. There's a lot of pressure on this place up here close to the road, but after you get back through this big wall of thick stuff, it opens up a little bit, and I ain't seen any people sign back there and just buck sign, so I'm going to try to get in there this morning. I'm leaving the truck right now. It's about 5 o'clock. Got a little bit of a walk. Got to go up through some nasty cedars and all kinds of other thick crap, so... I'm gonna make a pile of noise packing all my gear in there, but it looks like judging from the sign that this is the spot to be. Bucks have really been moving here the last few days. Miles got him a buck a couple days ago. That was pretty well the highlight of my season, I think, so never know. We're gonna be in some big sign, and they are on the move right now. So when I slip up there and get my stuff set up, see if something comes through. Well, it's just getting daylight. I just had a nice buck come past me. I couldn't quite tell how big he was, but where I'm at, they gotta have four points on a side. I just could tell he had a decent rack as wide as his ears. He come past and it was early. It's too dark for my GoPros to pick up hardly anything, but legal shooting light. And he came around the back side of the dead gum tree. I'll show you where all these rubs are here in just a minute. They're right out here in front of the tree. But he came around the backside here and I had a couple openings to shoot him, but he was moving so dang quick that I could never get a good look at him. And I was trying to film him and trying to get around the tree and get my bow and it just didn't work. Definitely one of the nicer bucks I've had in bow range this fall. I grunted at him a couple times and snort wheezed at him once. He definitely heard it. And then he kind of doubled back into these cedars behind me. So maybe he'll come back down out of there here in a little bit, I don't know good sign to see a buck though first thing just really needed him to come right down the pipe right here where I could get a better look at him I had just got my stuff settled in up here and I thought I could hear a deer walking so I grabbed my bow and I turned to my left and he was 40 yards away cutting up in there he come by about 25 but just no way filming myself that I could get it all together to get him on video and shoot him well hang in here though it's a good start to the morning nonetheless he might come back I don't know he didn't spook
It's getting on towards 11 o'clock. I ain't seen anything since them two fawns come through. Pretty good morning. Saw a lot of deer. And like I said, that one buck, I had to get it back on the computer, the footage, and blow it up to see. But I hunted this area a few days ago on the back side of it, and I didn't see anything. So when I climbed down, I just started speed scouting like mad through these woods. And I found all these rubs right down through here and coming here this morning because of that sign. And they are in here. Definitely. Might hunt it a little differently the next time I come in here, but I may try getting back in here at some point here in the next few days. I'm not sure. But good hunt nonetheless. I'm going to go ahead and climb down though. I need to get back to the house and start working on cleaning up Miles' deer for a European mount. Definitely good to see some rut behavior here in this timber. But I don't think we saw the buck that's laying down all this sign down in here. He's probably lurking back there in the thicker stuff. Which is where I'll head next in here on my next hunt I'd say.